Fancy friends, welcome back to another new video. Those are my keys. Today, um, we're going to be doing some plenty chores and I do have a new product. I'm pretty sure you've seen it at Walmart and stuff like that. This is not sponsored at all, girl, at all. So basically, I made a video on Instagram talking about like how much neem oil stinks, like a comedy video because it matched the audio really really good um also some people take it personal y'all neem oil does not smell that bad for me it literally just smells like nuts i don't like nuts <laughs> like you know nueces i don't like a man that i'm really really picky i i could do pecans but it just depends that's a whole different conversation but yes i don't that just smells like really strong nuts and it's i don't like it i just i don't like it but i still use it because neem oil makes my plants look super duper shiny and they make them look stunning slang and beautiful and just nice to look at because nobody likes to look at like the mineral deposits or like the you know from the tap water and the foliage the amber homegirl i <laughs> decided to reach out on instagram um, if you're not following me, what are you doing? Um, they said to follow me on Instagram. Well, not follow. They reached out on Instagram saying like, Hey, we saw your reel. We would like for you to try out our product. It does the same thing as Nemo, but it's a lot um, more not, you know, not so stinky as Nemo and some other stuff that they were saying. So yeah, and I'm really surprised how fast it got shipped out. I think it was like two days ago. No. Like, I think it was maybe five days ago or four days ago. It feels like it was yesterday. The, these days are going by so fast. Um, the total, I didn't pay anything because again, they just wanted to send it for free, but it shows up here how much the thing is. $27.98. The amber product is $21.99. And the spray bottle, which is kind of cute. Kind of cute. Um, it's just water, by the way. I just, I wanted to see how it sprays. This was $5.99. And then the little bottle. Here it is kind of really really cute pack packaging i've seen this at walmart i think for like 25 dollars something like that for three of them but we know how it is online more expensive the says proven results protection from mites thrips aphids and white flies it was just valentine he jumped off the bed um he he it sounded like a box fell off but it was just him <laughs> um i love the packaging it's like so aesthetically pleasing but this is just an insecticide to prevent like you know stuff like that indoor and outdoor so we love that they have like other different kinds too this sounds like a sponsor but it's not i'm just telling you everything so you guys know what's up <laughs> um they have like fertilizer like some preventative a, lo a lot of stuff like that i love i love their aesthetic um but yeah we're gonna go try it out today um i was reading this and the caution is kind of funny it says like make sure you wash your hands especially if you're gonna use a toilet as in like me and the chemical stuff like that which i don't maybe some other stuff say that but and this one is one of the funny where is it yeah it says um cautions causes moderate eye ir irritation like another product avoid contact with eyes or clothing wash thoroughly with soap and water after handling and before eating drinking chewing gum using tobacco or using the toilet. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, and I already did it. I also did some um, research online on the website. It basically says, over here, it tells you how to do it for a gallon, but this is not a gallon, babe. And this is 32 ounces. Um, this literally sounds like a sponsor. Um, 32 ounces. And then they also, I thought it was like a ticket shot. I don't drink, but I've seen this before, so. But it's not, it's for measuring. And I like it because it literally shows the site, like the, it has like one, two, three, four, 0.5 ounces, one ounce, 1.5 ounces, two ounces. So that's really nice. And the, the website, it also shows you like, if you don't have this, it's like, if I didn't have this, to fill this up, I think it's half a, a teaspoon. Half a spoon, I believe. Uh, but no, it said 0.5 ounces for, to fill this up. Like, you know, this 0.5 ounces in there. <laughs> and then you shake it and you spread it. My thing is, I also read that you gotta be really careful um like it doesn't the bottle it says this little words over here this seems like a sponsor it's not it's not but i guess i want to tell you everything <laughs> this is what i was telling my boyfriend right now if he was here but he's not he's working so using amber is simple measure a new batch of amber for every use and then always check well before applying pour it directly into soil or spritz for select pest problems I really hope, and I'm gonna do it like this, I don't give a damn. I'm gonna spread on the foliage. I hope it doesn't, I'm gonna get mad if it burns. Because I'm gonna spread everything. I know I should probably experiment, but I'm very impatient and I don't wanna do that. No, oh my God, what if I wake up the next day and everything's burnt? Cause they say pour directly into soil or spritz for select pest problems. 
So like you only spray it on like a specific foliage maybe, I don't know. Keep it fresh, don't let mixture stand overnight. So that's that. I usually love using my new one solution. And I'm really tempted to not even use this. I don't have to, um, in all honesty. But I do want to try it out. I want to see what it's all about. Um, because I do want to use it. I'm gonna go do a little bit more research and see if you actually spray on the foliage and you only spray on the soil. Um, and then we're gonna do a little mixture. We're gonna spray some plants. We're also gonna water a lot of plants too, because I gotta water a lot of plants. And I think that's basically it for today. We're gonna do some basic plant chores, because like I do gotta do a lot of chores. <laughs> but um, yeah, so. This was a lot of talking, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna go do my research on this girl and then I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm literally so dumb. I kept calling it Amber. It's Arbor. Basically, you do this, you can spray on the foliage and on the soil and you do this every 10 to 14 days for like wellness. That's what they said. So like, just like a little routine. But if you have a really bad um, pest issue, you do it every five to seven days. I believe that's what it says. Um, Let's go do it. I'm really excited. I really hope this works and it'll be a bonus if it can shine the leaves. I'm not, I don't think it's gonna do that, but it'll be nice if it can do that. Um, and I just thought about it too. We might also do some Halloween decor together because I do have a um, Halloween fight, the planter room. So yeah. I'm gonna do this together. Got my little cute little bata. Um, I literally cannot stop yawning. I'm debating on making an iced coffee, but I already had an, I already had an iced coffee this morning. <laughs> Okay, here she is. I think I got it too much. No, that's too much. Is there a line? No, okay. Is there a chair? I'm tired of like punching my back. Hold on. <laughs> okay, whatever. That's fine. I love the font. What's the font? But yeah, I kept, I was calling it Amber. <laughs> and I was Googling and I was like, why like the little fossil things? It was like honey, but it's not. I'm like, that's like the worst name. Like, why didn't they like, choose a better name? But anyway, it's called Arbor. Ah, oh, come on. I want to see. God, look. You see that? Ooh, girl. You say you don't smell. You s Hold on. Okay, it has a smell. <laughs> okay, okay. It smells like plant poison, but like a little bit like. By the way, they didn't ask for a video. <laughs> I'm not sponsored. They didn't ask for a video. The most even that they ever wanted was for me to try it out. And if I liked it, just on, to share it on Instagram by Gano and my YouTube channel. It's like FaceTime, you know, kind of vibes. And that's what we're doing right now. So period. Um, <laughs> okay, let me go fill that up. I don't know if you can see the little lines. You see like little, little lines. Over, like, oh my God. You can see the numbers right there, right? Like one right there. You know, I, there are a lot of YouTubers I used to work with. Um, not, Newt, some sort of fertilizer. Um, but they had a drama, <laughs> something happened to them. Um, so now they stopped working with them. And they reached out to me and I didn't use their fertilizer. It was good. But I was too scared to share because like, I didn't want to get canceled. Like, not canceled. I just didn't want people to hate me for supporting a company that I shouldn't support. So, yeah, whatever. It smell. I, I can get used to it, you know, but it's like, it's not a bad smell, like, you're not gonna go like, Ugh. you know what I'm saying? But it's not, <sighs> it, sm <laughs> it smells like ant poisoning. <clears throat> oh my God. Watch it, so like, don't sniff it. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of excited. You guys, I really wanna like, I just, <sighs> the, 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 the packaging is so goddamn cute. Like, it makes me want to buy the entire set. Isn't that dumb? I want to buy the fertilizer and everything. I might send them this video and they might want to send me the entire kit. <laughs> but <laughs> I kind of want to try it out. I'll keep you guys updated. I don't know, because I did promise you guys a plant update video too. So like, damn. And it's like night already outside. Well, it's like eight, seven. Okay. And then you're going to go ahead and um, close you. I need to wash my hands. But first, let me finish this off. Here it is. You're gonna go shake it, shake it. Okay, and then we're gonna go and spray everything. Uh, I'm really excited. Oh my God, I really hope this works. When I said mites, I hope it means like mellibugs too, spider mites. What's this mites? I'm pretty sure spider mites, I don't know about mellibugs. We're gonna find out, we're gonna find out. I'm gonna show you guys some plants that are really infested. I gotta find them though, usually it's the Hoyas. And we're gonna go and do that. By the way, thank you so much for being here, bestie. Like honestly, 
if it wasn't for you, I would have been alone right now. It would have been so sad. So let's go around the apartment and find some plants to spray on. We're gonna spray on everything basically. But I wanna see if I can find the plant that's really infested so we can look back at it and be like, oh, they did. So it works. I'm pretty sure it works, but yeah. So, <laughs> I know, I gotta stop saying that. We do have some calatheas in here, um, but I don't wanna spray because I have my, I just wash these dishes. But we're gonna go. Also, somebody said she didn't like my thingies. Girl, these were cheap, okay, and they get the job done. They don't look that cute. I'm kind of broke right now. I can't really buy some cute ones right now, but I know I can do I can do better. But um, it, it gets the job done. It protects my table, and that's what matters. Okay, let's see. I'm just gonna spray these just for funsies. I just know this. I like it. Damn, did it score? I didn't even notice. I was looking at something else. Okay. Watch them say this. That's not how you spray it, David. Eh, too bad. Oh, yeah. Tiene olor. Tiene un olor. I feel like they might say, like, you need to spray it. Because I feel like you gotta spray everything. But they should get the job done. Oh, que paso? Let me start up the tripod because I'm getting tired of holding the phone. <laughs> the tripod, look at Valentino. <laughs> hey, baby. You wanna say hi? You wanna say hi, babe? Okay, you can just watch me, it's okay. Okay, so as you can see, the lids are a little bit sprayed. And I... Okay, there it goes. Why is it doing that? That's basically it, to be honest. Like, um, <laughs> okay, let me go and this little calatea para acá. I have it like this because I want you guys to see Valentino too. Hey, babe. I'm gonna spray my um, prayer plants a lot because like we all know these plants uh, get cast like crazy. I guess you saw the water. Oh, I see it. Okay, so these have some mellies. So we're gonna find out. Silo Mata. We're gonna find out. I might put it on the, on the pressure setting. To get really empty, see that? Oh, I don't know if I saw that. It has two settings. It has a little like misty one, and it has like the the more forceful one, like the jet. Um, we're just gonna get like in the little crevices. Oh, it touched me. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if I broke the bottle. The spraying is not that satisfying anymore. Okay, period. Um, <laughs> I gotta stop saying that. <laughs> I'm gonna go, Ach, no, I'm so sorry guys. We're gonna go and spray on this little corner. This spring, I think I broke it. I don't know. It doesn't get any made. I don't like it. But it's about if it works, you know, that's the biggest thing. So I need to finish this. Okay. Honestly, I know this section doesn't have any malice. It's like, it's pretty clean, but just spraying for it as a perm, perm oh my God, preventative. So it's gonna be a little bit difficult to spray in this little section, because there's like lights, as you can see. There's like power. Um, I'm gonna do my best to not get in those little things, but. I don't like 
like this. It's pissing me off. It's pissing me off, bro. I'm gonna turn off the fan. Because it's like moving the thing. Yeah, it's just a lot better. And is it like, you know, step back a little bit? <laughs> Set to also spread the soil, so that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> Work up the next set, everything like bop! Bop like a chicken nugget! See the burger Maranza? This one. It does have a lot of Nellies. I'm also gonna spray the soil in the little corners of the plant. It is 77 inside and it's 50% humidity. And the plenty of room. Here's a little allocation, we know that allocations, spermites love allocations. It's honestly clean, surprisingly. We're just gonna spray. Is it primitive, preventative? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right there, I have a white calathea fusion. And we know that those attract. <gasps> I had a yellow fusion to be honest. Do y'all hear that? You know. Um, I had a yellow fusion and it was literally getting millibugs like, I mean, spider mice like crazy. I think I tossed it away. I know. Oh no, okay, so I bought two and one of them is like Kista. So I'm gonna spray her. Also, there's like that thing in my hands now, but it's diluted, so it shouldn't really be that bad. Damn, so plants are already thirsty. Literally, I think when was it? When I bought the fish tank in the room. So I think five days ago, six days ago, we drowned all of these plants. All of these plants literally had, they were sitting in water in their saucers. And now they're all, they're starting to get dry. Like this plant room stays nice and warm and the fan is always like running. So I'm pretty sure it makes them to dry out. Here's a yellow fusion, by the way. I think you can you can see some spider mites, are you? You can see like the spider mite damage. Yeah. So we're gonna go and spray this plant. And hope for the best. Okay. And this is nicely already. Oh yeah, said like love. Now it's it's spring a lot more better. I'm right, could you guys like more zoomed out so I don't get into the camera so much. So I'm gonna go do that. Okay, so right over here we have the, another table and there's a bunch of like highlight plants as you can see this is for the fishing by the way <laughs> we use it for the to collect water and it's a lot easier we have a hoyo Yeti, hoya chelsea a syngonium snake plant chinese evergreen variegated burlic marks whatever <laughs> desert rose which i don't think you can see the flowers you can't look it's like literally so bloomed gorgeous and then a hoya a crimson prince i believe my Hoya Chelsea and Hoya Wayeti and Hoya, um, Crimson Hoya are con honestly kind of infested with Melis. They look a lot better than what they did a couple of days. I don't know why, but I don't see that many. <laughs> I did spray neem oil once, 
And then also my um, white Knights I believe from Crystal Farm. Also had many bugs, um, but I don't see them anymore, but they also moved, so they're probably just hiding. So we're gonna go and spray everything. Really good in there. A lot of these plants are literally insanely dry. Now usually whenever you spray plants, you're supposed to like, you know, spray all over the back and the front of the foliage, but I'm not doing that. <laughs> this should be fine. Honestly, can I see my way, Chelsea? She looks insane. But she's putting out so many new leaves. I'm so proud of her. Okay. It, it, it gets really satisfying to spray and then you don't hear that? It's like no me no likey. So what I do, I just put it back to like the turbo thingy. So a plant that needs it, so like this figure will like it will benefit and like in the middle. It's gonna force the water inside. Which this thing is also putting out a lot of new growth. Like I don't know if you guys can see all those new leaves that are coming in. Super duper exciting. And the grow lights, I don't know, I had this grow light for a very, really long time. It was from Amazon. The table's from IKEA. As uh, my IKEA shelves, the white shelves that I have, they're from IKEA. And the other grow lights that I have on the shelves, those are from um, Amazon. And I actually do have some videos of me setting them up and stuff like that. I think like one of the recent ones was setting up the grow lights. Because people always ask me like, what, what kind of grow lights to use. And they want the link, but I'm like, girly, it's literally on the... <laughs> I have like multiple videos about it, but I'll try to link it again. Um, link it again. Link it down below. Just like a minute right there. And on my uh, in those clothes, eggs. Oh, I forgot to spray my Brazil and this shelf. Oh, how can I forget? Now, after finishing this bottle, I'm gonna go and refill it with some neem oil because, like, I love, I just love the size. Like, I do have another bottle that's really, really nice, but it's way too big, and I just like the aesthetics. <laughs> Even though neem oil is not for it. Uh, whatever. I, I want to use it for a neem oil. And I like to use neem oil to like shine the leaves. Um, it, it's also good as a preventative, but it doesn't when you do have a press problem. It's not really a saver. Like one of these, um, which they consider themselves for that. Neem oil is considered as a preventative. Do this one. I'm like spraying this one. She's so pretty. So basically, they love how um, wide or like like a circle, they're not like narrow like the other ones and I don't know why I do love the stems, can y'all see this? like usually it's brown but this is like a beautiful red I can I even see that? it's like nice and red sometimes it just does this I don't know why it's red but uh, it's beautiful, I'm obsessed with it I'm also gonna spray some stuff over here you don't see this section too and we'll double check I can see a little bit. Okay. This is my Brazil that I popped like crazy. And then another Brazil, some snake plants, like spider plants, micans, which honestly, spider mites, I found out they like micans. <laughs> um, we know that spider mites, their favorite thing is like alocasias and calatheas, but they like micans too. So I noticed they get micans. I mean, they get um, spider mites pretty easily. I'm gonna spray my new neon photos. And I'm almost done with the bottom. And honestly, there's a lot of the liquid in my fingers. Can you see that? It is kind of burning. <laughs> so I'm gonna go wash my hands. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Look at that. <laughs> this is called a desert rose and she is so pretty. Look at that. Kind of look, looks like a bonsai. So here's all the plants. I really, it's been a hot minute since I've done this with y'all. Like show you all the plants. See all the new leaves coming in over here too. Not over here, we have this beautiful Hoya. You see that red stem? Compared to that. But there's a lot of new leaves coming in. I might propagate this one. I know you can find these like pretty new big box stores, but 
it's very pretty and I'm pretty sure it's easy to propagate there's no need to like you know buy another one <laughs> if I can make it for free but it's gorgeous and it's doing so good you have more plants but like uh, my jade just put out a new leaf you will see it it's like right there this begonia is doing insane I don't know why, but it's loving it. It's loving life. Also, my Philadelphia color just put out a new leaf. I'm trying to like show y'all. You know, see that little funky leaf? And then some other stuff that I got. This one is starting to get more nice and full. Look at that baby. And again, she is still blooming, like, this orchid. I don't know, I just, I've really been enjoying the flowers. And one of the new leaves is coming in too. It's getting bigger. And then this, oh, this, oof. I forgot your name, but she's kind of cute. She's kind of cute. Here's a Jancina. I still haven't watered her. I need to water her pretty soon. <laughs> Here's the burger Miranda that I was talking about that I had like she's not getting so burger I don't know what's going on but um she's always infested with melly melly bugs which is so annoying the allocations at the bottom because we got from the flea market pretty cool a lot of times like this is from like propagation of like, the mother plants that's also from cuttings that's from cuttings that one over there is from cuttings um, this, I have more just in the cuttings over here that we did. And then this is the uh, Pariso Verde Belief, which is just so beautiful. And I also took cuttings from her and like you can see. The, look at that. <laughs> Super duper fun. And there's two plants in there. I placed two notes. And then, oh, my Syngonium Confetti, look at that. Also putting out a new leaf. <laughs> Let me see if I can show y'all. It'll like really. Yay! And then this is also from cuttings. My very very good Berlin Marks Philodendron, I believe. This fellow is putting a cutting. I mean, it's putting a a new leaf. Here's the um the white Calithia fusion, and then right over here we have the yellow. Fusion. Oh, this is my Hoya Obifolia splash. We also took some cuttings from this one, which is all the way over there, but I'm not going back over there. <laughs> Look at this lemon life for the fan. Like, it just put up this beautiful leaf. Gorgeous. I'm just putting another one. I do have my air plants just like thrown in here. <laughs> they look pretty fine. Oh, gorgeous. And then more just in the portals that I did, like cuttings. These will get nice and full very soon. Also the cuttings of this one. And then right over here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I might do a trade again. Like this one I did from a trade. It's a, I think it's a, a real philodendron. Looks like a Brazil, but it's not. Um, and then I did a cutting of it. It's right over here. I did multiple, but this is the only one that, you know, did pretty good. But I would love to do another trade. Like that was really, really fun. It's always fun to have like free plants. And I can tell you what I, I, I can kind of recall where I got a lot, a lot of my plants from. A lot of it's pretty easy because I get them at the big box stores. But um, these are also from cutting so look at that. Range of Pepperonia and then Kelly. This is the elbow. Here's the mother plant. She was neglected in the house by accident. <laughs> but right over here we have that. We have her. Um. Yeah, I would love to like, I wanna, get, I wanna collect more Syngoniums that I do not have. And 
it's kind of hard to get like potos that you don't have and philodendrons because like there's just so many out there and but well, that's not that many and the ones out there are kind of uncommon like they're pretty rare to get um but i would like to get more skin dapses like this is my jet skin dapses that we did from a i think i did a trade with somebody on facebook um so that was really really fun remember the massive sebo i had like two massive sebo blues and i oh my god it's decomposing right now <laughs> i'm gonna get attacked i know i could have you know some might say that I don't deserve plants, <laughs> but I had to get rid of it. It was just way too far gone, and I really don't like. I I wasn't mentally there. I really ever am. Like a lot of us are. Like a lot of us are going through so much stuff, yeah. But I really was not in the mood to like put it online and like talk to strangers, you know, and like set a date and stuff like that. And a lot of the times, like you would do that. This is from my experience. I was sub plants online like a long time ago and I'm trying to like set the phone but I can't. A lot of people would flake. <laughs> Basically what that means is like they wouldn't show up. So it was a big chunk of waste of my time. You know from doing that and I also got like massive anxiety meeting somebody even if it's one person because I'm just scared. So I had to like suck it up because I promised them I was going to show up like you know in front of the apartments or somewhere. But they sometimes they wouldn't show up, so I'm like, okay, you know what I'm saying? So, I I give one to my mom. The other one's decomposing right now. <laughs> Just think it would be super duper 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 fun um, to get some more plants, and I'm also really excited to like buy new plants if I ever can. Like I do miss buying plants on Etsy, um, but later on, not right now. Look at that leaf. Look at that, it's just beautiful. Chinese wonder plant is also slaying still. She looks beautiful. And then this one, I literally, oh my God. If I showed you how this plant looks four months ago or like five months ago, it was like empty. Like it was completely empty. And now she flushed out. A lot of it has to do because she was outside on the bottom of a tree and she was getting water twice a day and she bounced back like crazy like literally like crazy like look at all this this is all new growth from like four months you guys but i know when she gets nice she grows out a little bit more she's gonna start looking ugly <laughs> if i cannot give her consistent watering and a decent amount of light i believe this is a monstera something like that kind of looks like a super blue it's pretty cool i really do like the way it looks like it's like you can see my dragon skull, I think it's called dragon skull alocasia, next to the, the vine plant. They kind of look very similar, which is kind of cute. But um, yeah, look at this new leaf that's coming in too. Oh, it's just so cool. This one's my favorite too. I always like look if there's any new leaves, but I don't see anything yet. Wait, I think I do. Mm, I don't think there's a new leaf, but yes alrighty plenty friends so that is basically it for today honestly girl i did not expect this to end this video like this but um <laughs> today we basically just traded a little insecticide and i did you guys a little bit of plenty updates and like the apartments how everything is doing but that is basically it for today thank you so much for joining me on to this new plenty video i'll give you guys updates on the little product and how it works out and if i recommend it or not but um yeah this honestly this literally was a dedicated video on this but i just wanted to try this with you i always seen it but it was too expensive and i didn't want to try it out it was pretty the packaging is like so aesthetically pleasing but i don't know if it works so yeah but they sent it to me for free so i have the luxury and of that so i'm gonna go and check it out and see if it works out i mean if it didn't work then they wouldn't be in business so it should work but yeah, so I'll give you guys updates on everything. Send positive to each and every one of you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!